Ezekiel chapter 21 And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, turn your face toward Jerusalem, and direct your words toward the holy places, and prophesy against the land of Israel. And say to the land of Israel, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I am against you, and I will draw my sword out of its sheath, and I will cut off from you both the righteous and the wicked. Since I will cut off both the righteous and the wicked from you, my sword will go forth from its sheath against all flesh from the south to the north, so that all flesh may know that I, the Lord, have drawn my sword out of its sheath. It shall not return any more. Therefore, son of man, sigh with the breaking of your loins, and sigh bitterly before their eyes. And when they ask you, Why do you sigh? You shall answer, Because of the news that is coming, every heart will melt, all hands will be feeble, every spirit will faint, and all knees will be weak as water. Behold, it is coming and shall be fulfilled, says the Lord God. Again the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord, say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also polished. It is sharpened for a deadly slaughter, it is polished to make it gleam. Shall we then rejoice? It despises the scepter of my son, as it does every tree. And he has given it to be polished, that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, and it is polished to be placed into the hand of the slayer. Cry and wail, son of man, for it is against my people. It is against all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword will be against my people. Strike, therefore, upon your thigh. Because it is a trial. And what if the sword despises even the scepter? The sword shall be no more, says the Lord God. Therefore, son of man, prophesy and strike your hands together, and let the sword be doubled the third time, the sword of the slain. It is the sword of the great men who are slain, which enters their private chambers. I have set the point of the sword against all their gates, that their heart may melt, and their ruins be multiplied. Ah! It is made bright. It is wrapped up for the slaughter. Go one way or the other, either on the right hand or on the left, wherever your face is set. I will also strike my hands together, and I will cause my fury to rest. I, the Lord, have spoken it. The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, Also, son of man, appoint two ways for the sword of the king of Babylon to come. Both of them shall go forth from one land, and choose a place. Choose it at the head of the way to the city. Appoint a way for the sword to come to Rabbah of the Ammonites, and to Judah in Jerusalem the fortified. For the king of Babylon stands at the parting of the way, at the head of the two ways, to use divination. He shakes the arrows, consults the household idols, and looks at the liver. In his right hand is the divination for Jerusalem, to set battering rams, to open the mouth for the slaughter, to lift up the voice with shouting, to set battering rams against the gates, to heap up a siege mound, and to build a wall. And it will be to them like a false divination in the eyes of those who have sworn oaths with them, but he will bring their iniquity to remembrance, that they may be taken. Therefore thus says the Lord God, because you have made your iniquity to be remembered, and that your transgressions are uncovered, so that in all your doings your sins appear, because you have come to remembrance, you shall be taken with the hand. And you, O profane wicked prince of Israel, whose day has come, when iniquity shall end. Thus says the Lord God, Remove the turban, and take off the crown, nothing shall remain the same. Exalt the humble, and humble the exalted. I will overturn, overturn, overturn it, and it shall be no more until he comes whose right it is, and I will give it to him. And you, son of man, Prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord God concerning the Ammonites and concerning their reproach. Say, The sword, the sword is drawn, it is polished for slaughter, to consume because of the glittering. While they see false visions for you, while they divine lies for you to place you on the necks of the wicked who are slain, whose day has come, when their iniquity shall end. Shall I cause it to return to its sheath? I will judge you in the place where you were created, in the land of your nativity and I will pour out my indignation on you. I will blow against you with the fire of my wrath, and deliver you into the hands of brutal men, skillful to destroy. You shall be fuel for the fire, 
your blood shall be in the midst of the land. You shall not be remembered, for I the Lord have spoken.